we talk about forces, we often won't talk about the projection of a force onto a line or a component of a force. It's important that you guys understand what the difference is between projections and components. So if we start with components, two forces are components of a third if you can add them with vector addition. So F1 plus F2 equals this third one. In general, what we usually do is we're working with two different axes, uh, like the x and y axis. axes. So if you take the unit vectors along those axes, you can have some magnitude times one unit vector plus some magnitude times the second unit vector to give you the original force R. Now, in our x-y coordinate system, which you're very familiar with at this point, if I have a unit vector, we usually call it I along the x-axis, and the unit vector J along the y-axis, then I can count off on the axes and say that R is 3I minus 4J. That gives me this vector right here. And we talk about these triangles all the time, where with any, any value of theta, you can say Fx is R cosine theta, like that, and find the similar one for Fy. Now, what happens if you're not dealing with axes that are perpendicular to each other? I mean, after, world, after all, the world, if you look around, is hardly completely rectilinear. We'll have slanted things and posts all the time. Probably even in your classroom you can find something where the floor is not perpendicular to the railing or anywhere else. Um, in that kind of sense, what we usually use is a coordinate system along one of the axes and another one, but that means they're not perpendicular to each other. The idea of the components still works, though, and these are called general force components. I can still measure some amount up the v-axis, in this case, four, one, two, three, four, and some of them out up the u-axis, in this case one, two, three, and I can say that r is three times the unit vector along u plus four times the unit vector along v. Those are the components along the u and v directions. Now, the problem is this triangle is not a right triangle. So when you're doing this, you cannot say f sub v is r cosine theta, because it's not. You have to use the law of sines and cosines to actually find these components. So that's a component. What's a projection? A projection onto a line literally says drop the perpendicular from the tip of the vector back down to the line. So if you have this line, you're going to make this a dropped perpendicular to get here. This length is the projection onto the line. By definition, that's always going to be a right triangle. So you're always going to have that the perpendicular, the the um, projection onto the line is magnitude of f times the cosine of the angle in between them. Now, if you take lambda l as the unit vector along this line, like we were just doing before, that's the unit vector in the direction, then what you can say is this is actually the dot product between the vector itself and the unit vector along the line. And if you remember what the definition of a dot product is, anytime you did this in early calculus, you get a dot b is the magnitude of A times the magnitude of V times the cosine of the angle in between them? That's what we're sort of using here, except B is a unit vector, so that the magnitude of B is 1. That gives you this sort of notion. That's a projection onto a line. So when is a projection and a component the same? People will sometimes use them interchangeably because when you're talking about a Cartesian coordinate system, which is our most common coordinate system, they are the same. Because these are your right triangles, the projection that you would get if you dropped the perpendicular to the axis and the components that you get are the same. So I will have fxi plus fyj is equal to r, but fx is in fact the component is equal to the projection. Now, if you have non-orthogonal axes, that's just not true. So these red lines right here are the distances that you get if you drop perpendiculars to those axes. So this triangle right here and that triangle, those are right triangles. So the red lines are my projections, but the green lines have to be taken along lines parallel to the axes. That's easy over here because everything that's up and down and right and left is parallel to the axes. Here they're not. So to have components, I have to go along the line along parallel to u axis and along a line parallel to the v axis to get out to my point. So f u and f v are my components, these little red lines are my projections, and they're not the same. So 
When are projections and components the same? When your axis systems are orthogonal.